students welcome to my channel today in this video I am going to teach you very important long questions from sequence and series and the long questions are related to sum and here I have categorized all questions in five types here one two three four five types uh, if you can do these five types of questions then you can solve all the long questions relating to sum that's why the students don't skip the video watch till the end uh, let's start type one okay here type type one okay here in type one let's write one question find the find the sum of n terms and terms of the sequence okay let's write series of the series we have given here one series 4 plus 4 4 plus 4 4 4 plus this is this two how many terms n terms okay, here we have to find sum of this series to n terms so students this is first type of question to solve this here uh, let's suppose let yes n be the sum then then this can be written as yes n because sum of n terms of this series is supposed here s n so s n equals to 4 plus 4 4 plus 4 4 plus, 4, 4, 4 plus how many terms to n terms okay students to solve this type of question first of all we make all the numbers one we convert all the numbers to one so here to convert these numbers here 4 here is 44 here is 444 here is here uh, here is 4444 and so on and it goes up to n terms so we have to convert all the numbers into one so how do you convert all these terms into one by taking four common so if we take four common then this becomes one and this becomes one one eleven for the 44 and this becomes 111 and this two how many terms two n terms okay after making this all digits one we need to convert all the digits into nine now we make this all digits nine so how do we make the this nine this 99 this 999 so if we multiply all the numbers by nine then we get 999 999 and so on so here to multiply these terms by nine we need to divide by 9 also so 9 into 1 9 9 into 11 99 9 into 1 on 1 9 9 9 uh, this goes to n terms now we got all digits 9 here we sub this one and this 99 is 100 minus 1 and this 999 is 1000 minus 1 and this goes to n terms n terms okay here this became this remains same now we can separate all the terms here 10 minus 1 plus 100 minus 1 plus 1000 minus 1 plus up to n terms here okay here now we have two different series if we take here this 10 100 10 1000 and so on then that will be one series this goes to n terms 
plus so what left here minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 2 this also goes to n terms okay students here we have got two different series this is first one series this is another minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and this is another series and here the first series is geometric series because look here common ratio are same 102 by t1 that means 100 by 10 10 1000 by 10 10 so this is geometric series and we know that sum of geometric series sn equals to sum of geometric series sn equals to what is the formula a r power n minus 1 by r minus 1 this is sum of geometric series to n terms so how many terms are here n terms so we can use this formula okay here this is uh, a this is a here a is 10 a bracket r what is r 100 by 10 so 10 r power n n means number of terms so how many terms are here in this series n terms so n minus 1 by r minus 1 r minus 1 so what is r 10 minus 1 so sum of this series is this one minus why minus here here is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 all the terms have minus sign so if we take that minus sign then this plus becomes minus so inside the bracket 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus how many Two n terms okay here students now 4 by 9 remains same okay simplify this 10 as it is 10 power n minus 1 by 9 minus look here uh, how many one are here n so look one plus one so how many ones are here one in one two so if we add one two times then it becomes two one plus one plus one how many ones are here three if we add one three times then this becomes three if you add four times then one 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 how many times four times four similarly if we add one n times then it becomes n because if you add two two times one two three times one three four times one four ten times one ten hundred times one hundred similarly n times one n so this sum of this series becomes n because here are n terms if it here was 10 terms then it would be 10 if here was 100 terms then it would be 100 so in this way sum of n1 is n so now the students open the bracket and you'll get answer this 4 tens are 40 bracket 10 power n minus 1 by 81 minus if you open this 4n by 9 this is our answer uh, students this question may come in decimal also 0 0.5 0 0.55 0 0.555 to n terms uh, here may be 2 here may be 3 here may be 4 5 and so many digits up to 9 so when the question comes in decimal then We convert all the decimals into fraction. Here 0 0.5 plus 0 0.55 plus 0 0.555 plus how many terms? 2 n terms. Okay, let S n be the sum. Then this is S n 0 0.5 plus 0 0.55 plus 0 0.555 plus 2 how many terms n terms okay here this is 5 by 
10 so this decimal becomes 1 and after decimal here is a single digit that's why single 0 and this is 0 5 5 means 55 and this decimal becomes 1 and how many digits are here 1 2 digits that's why we put two zeros here similarly this is 5 5 5 by uh, three zeros and this goes to n terms now repeat the same process and then you don't care the de denominators just you need to care numerators you have to make these numerators uh, 9 9 9 9 9 9 so for that uh, first of all we need to take common if you take 5 common here so you can take 5 by 10 also uh, it is not necessary to take common here just we have to make numerator 9 so we cannot make this 5 9 that's why we are going to make this 1 so this is 1 by 10 plus this is 11 by 10 100 this is 1 1 1 by 10,000 to n terms okay here 5 okay again now we have to make this 9 this 99 this 999 so 5 by 9 now this became 9 by 10 99 by 100 999 by 1000 to n terms okay now convert that use the same rule that we have done before this is 10 minus 1 by 10 this is uh, 100 minus 1 by 100 this is 1000 minus 1 by 1000 this goes up to n terms okay now here this became this remains same now separate the terms 10 by 10 minus 1 by 10 plus 100 by 100 minus 1 by 100 plus 1000 by thousand plus minus one by thousand this goes up to n terms students now we can make here two different series let's make this okay here is 10 by 10 there here is 100 by 100 here is thousand by thousand so we can take this one plus 100 by 100 one plus thousand by thousand one plus this is also goes up to n terms plus here is minus 1 by 10 here is minus 1 by 100 here is minus 1 by 1000 so take minus common that minus makes this plus sign minus and what left here 1 by 10 plus 1 by 100 plus 1 by 1000 plus this also goes to n terms Okay, students now this became 5 by 9 and here this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 so how many ones are here n same as before this becomes n and this is geometric series oh, if you make if you find ratio here look ratio r equals to 1 by 100 by 1 by 100 by 1 by 10 0 0 cancel r becomes 1 by 10 now here 1 by 10 1000 by 1 by 100 also becomes 1 by 10 that's why this is geometric series ratio is 1 by 10 okay so what is the formula a 10 so here we have formula s n equals to a r power n minus 1 by r minus 1 so a what is a 1 by 10 r 1 by 10 power how many terms are here n terms that's why n remains same here curly bracket we we'll make this last bracket here minus 1 divided by r minus 1 1 by 10 minus 1 so students after simplifying this 5 by 9 n minus this is 1 by 10 this is 1 by 10 power n minus 1 okay if you simplify this then you will get minus 9 by 10 okay students simplify this and get the answer simplify this way students we can do type 1 
so in this students if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again please like subscribe and uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button thank you